Welcome back, everyone. Time for some more Project Zomboid. And we're going to eat something quick. Maybe this orange. Eat all this orange. And then we're going to go to sleep. And I have an interesting target for tomorrow. It's not your average place. Probably not the most useful in terms of actually finding loot. Um, but it's something I'm going to do anyways. Because I think it'll be interesting. Uh, just something interesting to see. It's the... It's a train station that's near here. Now, I've never spent... I've never been to this train station. It's I've never really been up... Spent much time up in this part of the map. So, I think it'll be interesting to see. Um, see what we can see. <laughs> and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. But, I, so, but it probably won't be that useful. I don't think that there's going to be a ton of loot there. Um, I was looking at it on the map, and it doesn't look like there'll be a huge amount, but there might be some, or at least enough to justify the trip. I guess we'll find out. Um, I gotta put all this junk away first, because we have too much stuff. Too much stuff. Alright, let's see. We have anything that needs to go in the refrigerator here. We have a radish. Alright, so let's see. This, 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 this. Basically everything in here. I'll keep that peach on me in case we need it for something. Put that away. Fast forward while that's all going, putting put away. Oh, there's actually a whole bunch of extra stuff I didn't even see here. Chocolate chips can, da da do. Keep the beta blockers. Get rid of the banana. Actually, I'll keep the banana. There we go. Put all that away. We're going to take the remaining stuff. This cooking pot's going to go in our main inventory because I'm about to fill it with water. Take all of this and put it in this bag. And I'll put this cooking pot in the main inventory. Should probably put this corn in the refrigerator. And then we're going to... F no, 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 no. Turn that off. Don't want to burn our, our only safe place down. <laughs> that would be a bad idea. Fill that cooking pot up, fill this other cooking pot up, and we'll put them away. Yeah. We're also going to unequip this. We'll probably be switching over to our frying pan, which is there soon, because I imagine that this plank is... Yeah, this plank is... Actually, we should probably just drop this plank. Might actually come in handy for, you know, planking duties eventually, so... There we go. All right. Anybody? Yeah. Oh, look, a whole uh, whole group of friends moved into our yard while we were asleep. That this group is one of those ones that's going to be split by the wall. Okay, let's deal with this. Hello, lady. Come here. go. I suppose anybody wants to give me anything good, huh? Ah, she saw me. Excellent. It's nice of them to come with me one at a time. Finger paints there is going to be on me in a second. There we go. I think there's one more in the yard. Is there one in the yard still? No. The rest of them are on the other side of the fence. It's not to say that they won't come this way. But... We're going to let them do their thing. I want to get to the train station. Like I said before, it's probably not the best use of resources. I mean, there's probably... looking at Just looking at it on the map anyways, it doesn't look like there's a ton of loot there. Although, actually, this place has apparently been abandoned by the zombies that were in it before. So we're going to take advantage of this section here. Change of plans. Zombies that were hanging around this house left it. So we'll... We're, Take advantage of that moment. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't realize the home was still occupied. Fall down, please. Ooh, he almost got me. Alright. Alright, come on. Down you go, lady. There's the key. Plastic bag. I'm turn that slide on. 
Chip sardines, I'll take those. Don't need the notebook. Rounds, another frying pan, gardening can, lighter, pepper, canned peas, cabbages. Lots of good junk in here. That was a weird sound I just heard. It sounded like air being let out. Oh, a trowel. That trowel means we can actually start, we could start farming already. Um, not that we probably will right away. Oh, why did I open that door? Okay. That was a misclick. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so much for looting that house right now. Well, let's see, actually, what's coming. Maybe we can still get in there. I only saw uh, maybe four or five. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Suddenly I've decided I'm going to stick to my guns on this one. I don't know why. Let's eat, uh, let's eat something. Banana? Eat half a banana? <sighs> She's tired already. Stupid sleepyhead quirk. Not sure why I take it. Actually, I know exactly why I take it. It's good points. Let's close this door. Whoa, you stay away from me. No, no. Ooh, that was thick skin coming through for me. The fact that I didn't get hurt there is kind of impressive. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Farming books that won't probably never make it to use. Alright, we did into that. Okay. Bathroom. Fill up our water bottle while we're here. Isn't there a second story to this house? Oh, there is. Okay. Closet. Rope. Yeah. Great. Meta noise. That's gonna shift them all over the place. Mm, tweezers I'll take. In case I need to take glass shards out of my hand at some point. Duffel bag. I will take that. End of our school bag days. Put in there, alright. It's kind of um, excessively brazen of me. <laughs> Luckily it worked out. Alright, now we're going to the train station. Come hell or high water. They are going south, okay. I don't know why I want to go to the train station. I just saw it on the map and I was like, I've never been there. I should go check that out. I don't want her to get too tired because there's definitely going to be some comet that's going to have to take place when we get there. But I also don't want it to take forever to walk there. It's always the uh, the great balancing act of Zomboid. I don't want it to take forever to get somewhere where I'm going, but at the same time, I don't want it to. Uh, I don't want to run out of stamina. Used to not be a problem before they revamped the way the stamina works. So we just take a left up here and should take us to the train station. Um, hopefully there's not a train coming. So it's a joke because there's no trains. Well, that'd be kind of awesome. Just suddenly a random train. Zombie train. Try hitting that in the head. All right. Okay, there's, so there should be... I would be very surprised if there's no zombies up here, so let's be a little bit more careful. If we get really lucky, these crates will have th useful things in them, but... Uh, not counting on it. We'll see, I just want to see it. Yep, see, that one's empty. How about this door? Is it open? Nope. Lots of windows to choose from, though. This is not a, not a nice train station. This is no Grand Central. Come on. You can do it, lady. There you go. Doesn't even look like there's any zombies in here. Pop that door open. Ticket counters apparently have no pockets in them. Yeah, apparently the ticket counters don't have any um, storage in them. I feel like I... Ooh, crowbar, I'll take that. I feel like I just heard glass breaking 
like a long way away, just barely. I guess we'll find out. So there's nothing down here, right? Yeah, see, these are not, those are not containers. Okay, this is what going to be some sort of like office. There's a crate in here. Shotgun shells, glue, and a flashlight. Eh, it could be worse. Glue will definitely be helpful. All right, are there any more buildings? Did I look in this area? Yeah, I did. All right, any more buildings to the train station? Or is this it? Oh, there's like an outhouse. These are probably uh, bathrooms. Do they have windows? Is there windows? I don't have the uh, I don't have the makings of a piece of equipment to break down a door. All right, <laughs> guess that's it. That didn't turn out to be as exciting as I hoped it would be. Although there are zero zombies out here, so... We got a crowbar. That's not too bad. Crowbars are a decent weapon. They wear you out in a hurry because they're very heavy. Um, but they're not... Uh, they do a lot of damage, I think. I think they do as much damage as a baseball bat, maybe? I don't know. Let's cruise on home. Probably going to have to just... just don't want to use up all of our stamina because there's almost definitely going to be zombies that have to be taken care of when we get home. Thirst, unhappiness, hunger. So this is the one downside of this uh, very defendable location is its distance from everything. Basically, we have to go south and eat south and south and this way. Was that west? There's really nothing to, to get to. Um, north and east unless you want to go all the way to West Point. Which we don't. It's that funny quirk of their geography and that the, the West Point is north and west or north and east of this Muldrow. Alright. We didn't check this this trash can on the way in, I don't think. Magazine. Alright. Alright, let's go home. Deal with whoever we, whoever it is that decided to take up residence while we were gone. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to get ourselves... Eh, maybe not. We'll see. If there's a big crowd, I might switch to the crowbar. Eh, there's somebody. There's at least one person in our yard. I need some way of uh, knocking down trees so I can actually build a proper fence. Proper uh, guard area around our house. Just the one, huh? I should probably uh, do a perimeter sweep. That'd be the lo the uh, a responsible thing to do, right? And I am nothing if I am not responsible. Let it not be said that Crumulant Archer is irresponsible. All right, there we go. This is what did in the prison at uh, in Walking Dead is that they didn't they didn't do their sweeps every day. Got to keep the got to keep the fence clear, man. Got to keep the fence clear. It's very important. Zombies don't give up. Oh, hello. Yeah, make sure he stays on the ground. No, you don't get up. It's good old zom zombie juggle. No, stay down. Come on, die, dude. There we go. I hear you. I hear you in the trees. You didn't think I heard you. I heard you. Chopping down a tree with my foot right now. There's more of them in the trees. Here comes one of them. Alright, at least two. Alright, three. Oh, now we're getting a little bit busy. Four, five. Yeah, this is getting to be problematic.
And it's getting late, so we should just lead them home. Or lead them away from home, I should say. Nothing to see here. Nobody here. Alright, she's on me. I think the others... Some of the others bought my clever ruse. They're going to be a problem tomorrow, though. But I feel like that's a problem for the tomorrow. Future Archer gets to deal with that. Yay! All right, maybe I can get a couple of them at a time. Does he see me? No. There we go. Two more. I can handle two. Alright, we gotta, gotta stop it after these two. Eh, stupid meta noises. Alright, let's get, let's go home. Can't tell well where it's coming from, but hopefully it doesn't come from a bad place. Alright, I'm gonna try and do a little bit of cooking tonight. So let's grab this, let's grab eggplant and lettuce and some radishes, some salt, and I think we have some pepper in here already. Don't we? Cabbage. Oh, we had pepper somewhere. Oh well. Who needs, who needs pepper? Kitchen knife, there we go. Let's make a salad. Oh, we need a container. I got a bowl somewhere, there we go. Great salad. Using lettuce. And then we're going to add salad, add salt as a spice. And we'll add some eggplant. Very, very fancy. And where's our where's our vegetable salad? We'll add some cabbage to that. Hmm. Bueno. Eh, a little more eggplant. Why not? There you go. Lovely salad. The radish away, lettuce away, eggplant away, banana away. Let's eat a fourth of this. And we'll put the rest away. Alright, um, I think I'm gonna stop here just because it's this is a nice convenient stopping place. A little bit shorter episode than I would like, but so it goes. Hope you're enjoying it. If you are, consider pressing that like button. It helps me out a great deal, and I'll see you guys back here later for some more uh, Project Zomboid. Thanks so much.